Good evening, Las Vegas. This is Vanessa from V News. I'm here on the red carpet at the 2014 Avian Awards. You know how we do it? We about to get the scoop. Hi, I'm Nina Hartley, 30-year veteran of adult entertainment and no signs of slowing down yet. Okay, now are you nominated tonight for anything? Apparently I am for MILF of the year. Okay. Well, good luck on that. I'll take it. Well, I can tell you this, Vegas absolutely loves you. Well, thank you. If I put anything out about AVN, all they want to know is where's Nina Hartley? Well, you're the very nicest. Thank you, Las Vegas. <laughs> what I want to say to all, any fan anywhere is to know that the best sex is pleasure-oriented, not goal-oriented. It does not need to be uh, penis-centered for both partners to have a good time, which takes a lot of pressure off of guys, especially as they get older. Um, don't forget to self-pleasure as often as you need, feel a need to. And keep learning about sex and sexuality because it's always something new to learn with your partner. Whether you're single or dating or monogamous in a long-term relationship, there's always something new you can be doing. So it never needs to be stale. Well, what advice would you give to someone trying to break into the industry? Run. Run for your life. Do something else and be a slut in private. Right. Hello, I'm Alexis, Texas. Are you nominated tonight? I am. I'm up for some fan awards. I'm also one of my scenes, and uh, TNA is nominated, so hopefully I get something. What happened to your voice? I've been talking to all my fans since Wednesday, so I've just spent. <laughs> and you have been so amazing. We just have one important question. Every one of, every one of my readers want to know, is it true that you've never um, filmed with a black guy? This is true. Is there a reason behind it? No reason. It's just um, I feel like it hasn't been the right time for me, and I feel like because I waited for so long that it's something that I want to do right, and I'd rather have con total control over it. And I've slowly in the couple of, past couple of years, I've been taking more control over my like I have my website alexistexas.com, and um, I just decided I finished my contract with Adam and Eve, and I decided that um, I'm gonna only shoot for alexistexas.com. So I just wanted more control and do what I really want, not what someone else is telling me that I should like. So. You know what, I really respect that. And outside of that, they love you. <laughs> I have not heard anything negative about Alexis Texas. Then we get the ultimate uh, spin going on. Would y'all look at that right now? What's going on? It's the world famous T Real. I'm here at the 2014 Avian Awards. I am nominated actually for Best Supporting Actor in the Film. And this beautiful girl. Jenna Ivory. Jenna Ivory is one of the brand new models at Ideal Image Models, the company I represent. Um, and we represent girls like her. This is her first time on a red carpet, so I'm happy to, to bust her cherry. <laughs> cool, okay. <laughs> so, seeing um, films to now you have a model company, correct? Yeah, I was, I was actually a performer for about, well, I don't want to say how many years, I feel old now, but uh, about seven years in the business, and I started to direct, and then I saw that there was a, a really big need for um, professional talent agencies, licensed and bonded agents, agencies, um, and there was definitely a need for an agency that really opened up its doors to a diverse roster of talent. Um, I mean, Jenna's a blonde haired blue-eyed, beautiful white girl, but we represent black girls, Latin girls, Asian girls from all over the country. And I'm very excited to know that I you know that we're opening those doors as, an, as a talent agency. Yeah, I'm excited to see that, too, because um, I noticed this year is the first year, actually, that we've ever seen a BBW on the red carpet. Yeah, yeah. So that is huge for, for the industry. We're going to see a lot more of that. I think that the, the times are, are changing. They're changing rapidly. So the consumer is opening up to those types of talent. So it's time for the production companies and the talent agencies to as well. Well, okay, with these new condom laws, though, I know they passed it a couple years ago. How has it, if it's at all, affected the industry? Um, it honestly hasn't affected too much. Um, I admit some companies have jumped ship from L.A., so it kind of has hurt the, the L.A. Uh, production market a bit. Um, you know, it's it's a good idea, it's a good concept, but I believe they kind of went about it the wrong way in regards to kind of pushing it and forcing it upon production companies. Um, I said I've been talent for a long time. I'm definitely pro pro condom. I'm pro pro uh, you know being safe as possible. But I'm also pro having the decisions made by us as talent, us as production companies. Now, by you being a producer in the industry and owning your own company, um, how do you feel about this new out or this new recent the stars that just came out HIV positive? Well. Again, a lot of times, and what I've, what I've noticed also as talent, as a, as a talent agent, they're isolated incidents, but because of the industry that we're in, they're blown up out of proportion. Um, you know, we're very, very clean and tested in this industry. Uh, people like myself and like Jen and others who look at this like an actual job, you know, when you're looking at this like a job, you're being professional, you're taking it seriously, you don't really want to put yourself at risk, at, at health. You know, if you, if you worked at a fast food restaurant and you had to wear a hairnet all the time to make sure you were safe, without that hair net you couldn't work it's kind of same thing with us with testing I've been tested every 30 days for the last 
damn, 10 years almost. Um, I don't go out and, you know, many people who go and have casual sex never say, damn, you're really hot, I wanna have sex with you. Here's my ACE test, here's my STD test. And we do that almost every day. Um, and again, Compared to the ratio of people in outside the industry who contracted STDs and contracted HIV, it's a very small minority um, compared to what we we have in regards to what you hear about on the news. So, you know, it's very sad and it does affect us, and we are concerned about it. But it's not something where that oh my God, these are the dirty, horrible people, and they're just giving AIDS to the world, STDs to the world. That's not the case at all. This is the famous Shawn Michaels. How are you this year? It's always nice to see you. It's always a pleasure to be in your presence, my dear. How are you? I'm good, thank you. And who's your date? This is the lovely and talented, new to our industry, Nikki Ferrari from Mexico. Yes. Hi. And are you nominated tonight for anything? Yes, uh, we've been blessed with six nominations this evening, um, from Best Director to uh, Best Ethnic um, Mini, well, I want to call them a miniseries, but basically the vignettes. And um, and basically I'm covering the whole gamut uh, spectrum this evening, I believe, with my nominations. Okay, now I know last time we interviewed you, was it a male enhancement pill that you had produced? How is that going? It's going very well, and uh, we're working on a, a new enhancement on that pill, and uh, also I'm working on uh, basically my first book out probably this fall and it's my memoirs of the first uh, 15 years of my existence in this industry. Okay, now how about the school? Um, you know, we, we still want to do that. We want to take, take an online approach with it now. And uh, so that's uh, put on a, been put on a back burner right now until my book is completed. Hi, I'm Lisa Ann. Hello, Las Vegas. And I'm Matt. I am Lisa Ann's date for the AV. Are you nominated tonight? I do have quite a few nominations tonight. Well, I won't ask you for all of them, but I'll say which one do you want the most? I would like the new production company of the year award since I just started my new company this year. Nice. Well, congratulations on that. Um, how long have you been in the industry? I've been in the business 23 years now. Okay. So um, we're here to find out this year about the new condom law. How has it, if, if it has affected the industry? Well, the law hasn't passed yet. It's only a bill and it hasn't become a law yet. So we have time. And we have time to decide if we want to regulate it ourselves. Uh, I think the industry is going to work it out adequately. It's about letting go of what we think will and won't sell and what we think is right and not right. So, But for the state to impose it and take it from a bill to a law, the amount of money it would cost, the amount of time it would cost, most of everybody in this room will be retired by then. Okay, that's interesting. Well, what advice would you give someone in the industry as far as how to protect themselves and keep themselves safe? You know, I think the most important part is uh, knowing everyone's home life. It's not as much what we do on set, because set is we do show each other our tests and we are prepared for those things. It's knowing that you're doing the right thing in your free time using a condom so you're not bringing anything into the industry on set. Also testing frequently, you know, I test every 10 to 14 days even if I'm not shooting. And also be sure to look at your talents test every time you arrive on set. Hi, my name is Leighton Benton. My name is Motor Monster Johnson. Are you guys nominated tonight for any award? Yes, Most Promising New Starlet and a couple of my movies are nominated as well. Mm -hmm. I'm also nominated for Best Male Newcomer, which is a higher title for us men, and a couple of movies on websites. So, Las Vegas, you know me, V News, I have to ask, what inspired this? The outfit or just me in general? Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, let's well, start with the outfit. Okay, well, see, with the outfit, it's like the originally... I had three dates, right? But they didn't have the passes to come on the red carpet, so they're gonna meet me inside. But originally I had a one I was gonna carry with a chain and have a walk across on her feet and I was gonna step on her. So I put the snake skins on to show them, you know, right? we classic. Crazy. Now, for those, cause I know this is, this is Vegas, this is Cali. This is how we do it, okay? I'm from New York, I'm a Harlem dude, okay? You see the bow tie? This is made out of 100% ostrich skin. So those who know how to get down with the shoes, okay? This is one of one. Exclusive. I'm working on this too. So look to see new Mojo fashions coming soon to you. Yes. Baby boy, how yes. you doing? Hey, this is V News here with Max Hardcore. And the Denver Peaches. Yes. The Denver Peaches. How you guys feel like being at AVN this year? It's fantastic. We're having it's a lot exciting. of fun. Exciting, very exciting. They're all brand new girls who have never been on the red carpet before. And it's a big honor to be here and uh, with this great organization that AVN is, and right. we really appreciate it. I know, last time we talked, you had just got out of jail. How's it yeah, feel now? Just, what have you been doing since then? I've been uh, rebuilding my life, 
putting it together and building up the Denver beaches. And it needs no introduction. Ron, Jeremy, are you nominated for anything here tonight? Yeah, for not non sexual in Greece. Okay. <laughs> okay. How is uh, XBiz, correct? How's that going? Oh, this is actually AVN. No, no, no. XBiz. I know you did the XBiz. Yeah, I think I'm nominated there, too, for something. Okay. They're having their, their shows coming up, actually. It's coming up uh, in L.A.? A week, right? Yeah, a week or two, yeah. Okay, because, yeah, I know last time we interviewed you, that was when you guys were just starting that. That's right, that's right. Yeah. That's right. That's how it works, you know. Well, we're, we're here. We really want to know about this new condom law. Has it affected the industry in any kind of way that you can tell? It's hurting California. Everyone just got out. People are shooting in Vegas, or Santa Barbara, Calabasas, you know, they're just uh, San Diego. They're shooting out of L.A. proper, so they're gonna, it's just hurting tax dollars in California, which is suffering already. And now they're talking about having uh, white gloves in a scene or dental dams for oral sex, like cellophane. I call it a dental dam because damn if I'd wear one. No, it's just ridiculous. I mean, uh, what it's really doing is, you know, we can't compete with it overseas. See, because they don't use rubbers overseas. And it's already, they've done so many surveys and statistics, the public prefers not to see it. So the thing is, so you're going to have rubbers. Now, you know, the Asian, the Scandinavian, the, the, you know, and the, the European countries will continue doing great on the Internet with their non-rubber scenes, while the American filmmakers take a beating because they, people don't want to see it. And so then they're, all, they're already suffering on the Internet because of all the freebies that put porn out of business. So what they did was they outsourced porn. Congratulations, America. Wasn't that dumb? Do you have your harmonica on you tonight? You think I carry that wherever I go? Come on now. Yeah. We were hoping. Oh. What do you like? Anything. Uh, uh, Saints go marching in. Play ball. Okay, I'm just right. kidding. <laughs>